about one of the biggest challenges in the network marketing profession, and there's lots of challenges. Like I say all the time, network marketing isn't perfect. It's got its challenges. It's got its ups. It's an emotional business, but it's better. It's better than other entrepreneurial uh, options for a person, the average person that's out there that might not have a lot of money, but has some passion, has some desire, has a willingness to go after uh, what, what they want to flex with their entrepreneurial muscles, it's better, right? But one of the things that, that I want to talk about today is how do you handle it when you have a close friend or family member that maybe they never join, but maybe they join and never do anything. And you're just filled up with so much frustration because what goes on in your mind is they, oh my gosh, they have so much potential. They've got so much potential. I mean, if they, they know everybody, they're just a natural salesperson or they're a natural leader. And if they would just flex their muscle, if they would just engage, if they would just not just put their dip their toe in the water, but if they would just dive in. So if you've been around network marketing for a while, you've had this frustration. I've had this frustration. And sometimes you feel like you're letting them down because you know maybe you're not being the leader that they need in order to be able to engage. So you, know, you try all kinds of things. You try to encourage them. You try to flatter them. You try to kick them in the butt. You try to say, come on, let's go. You try and do all these different things. And they never quite do. What do you do with that? I'll tell you what I finally learned. Um, is you can't make people be successful. You just can't. You can't make people face their fears. You can't. You can't make people get past their ego. You can't. You can't force a breakthrough on someone else. One of the, some of the best advice I got early on was don't fall in love with potential. I'd rather have somebody who's unemployed, doesn't know anybody, um, maybe has had a rough life, but they really want this, they're hungry, than someone who knows everybody in the world. Maybe they're a celebrity, maybe they, you know, they, they've got natural abilities and they just won't take action. You can't force hunger on someone else. You can't force desire and ambition on someone else. You can't force the facing of fear on someone else. That's something they have to do on their own. So I still have people in my life that, my gosh, if they engaged in network marketing, they would just tear it apart. But they don't. And you know what I finally learned to do? Is to let that go. And I would encourage you to do the same thing. Number one, don't fall in love with somebody's potential. Number two, love them where they are, without judgment, without criticism, without aggression, because sometimes it gets frustrating. Let them be where they are. Love them where they are, let them do what they're going to do, and work with the willing. Work with people where you're not pushing all the time. Work with people who are calling you, you don't have to call them all the time. Work with people who are showing up at the events, not the ones you have to invite to the events all the time. Work with people who are using the products, not the people you have to remind to use the products all the time. There's enough willing people out there in the world. Work with them regardless of how much potential they seem to have at the moment. Potential is cheap. Potential is common. Here's what's unique, hunger ambition, willingness to work, willingness to face your fears, willingness to go out there and be uncomfortable for a season, willing to endure the loss of social esteem from other people, be willing to accept that other people might think less of you for a time while you're building something like this. Be, will, be Work with those people versus all the potential in the world. Love those people, work with the willing.